I'm uh, starting a research about uh, post-porn iconography and my question is uh, why, uh, why post-porn authors always work with um, a kind of iconography related uh, with uh, BDSM, with uh, masochism and uh, leather clothes and all those kind of stuff. I'm working in a project about uh, c cyber sex, cyber sex, uh, which uh, was presented a couple of weeks ago in Madrid in the Rooted Con, which is a, a congress about uh, internet security, and they they wanted me to write something about uh, cyber sex and uh, the private life, private life about people and um, the problems about uh, watching uh, porn on your computer and giving some, some kind of information about you, uh, which can be dangerous. Uh, I was talking about machinima because uh, I found that machinima uh, could be uh, a good uh, place to where uh, work about the representations of sexual life of people and maybe uh, changing the um, appearance of uh, internet avatars and the playing with video games uh, we can find that uh, we can uh, fight the stereotyped bodies there was a question uh, quite special and was uh, if it is possible being a feminist and try to do something uh, about feminism with video games in machinima and that's uh, hard stuff because um, it's not possible it is possible to change the type of bodies and it is possible to to change the argument of a game to try to explain some uh, things related to to transfeminism and transgender gay lesbian people and bisexual and um, the kind of problems that they face every day but uh, video games are lim limited uh, also the the audience uh, normally try to get uh, some machinima very uh, stereotyped so mm, we have to make a change uh, which uh, belongs uh, sorry begins uh, in in the edu educational programs at schools you know not only at home looking you com uh, through your computer the internet